Dímelo mi gente, what up, it's your boy Gus from Gus Villa Jewelry. It's our favorite pastime and today might be just the most anticipated review of all time. Thousands of comments have come around. It is finally time. Harlem Bling Review is coming up next. We're going to unveil one of their pieces and see if it gets the GVJ stamp of approval. Without further ado, hit me with the intro music. So here it is, this is it. Finally, the company advertises that they purchase a lot from Italy. So if I ordered something like, let's say for instance, a rope chain or a Cuban chain or something like that, that's made in Italy, chances are it's going to be the exact same one I've always seen. The same manufacturers that make their chains are the same manufacturers that make a lot of people's chains. So I asked my producer to purchase something from the website. I don't know what it is specifically. I wanted it something to be sort of custom, something where I can just say, oh, okay, cool, I've seen this before. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now, as always, we ordered this piece about a couple weeks ago. I had been waiting to do this review. I just been having other pieces to do before that. It took about four days or something like that. So it's pretty quick. So far, the customer service has been outstanding. So that's a really good thing. So here's what it comes in. Um, got a couple boxes and a bunch of memorabilia. So let's get this the hell out of the way. So first things first, the, this is the actual ensemble here. Um, looks like it came with a Harlem Blink sticker. Looks like a pretty plain Jane one. Let's get that out. I don't really care for that. And uh, this is a jewelry cleaning cloth. Okay, cool. So I'm assuming this is going to be for something that's purchased on the inside. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah, this is a nice packaging. I love the logo, by the way. It's a really clean logo. I appreciate these little details. So cleaning cloth, it's a pretty good one. They come standard. I sent some out on mine too. We got a Harlem Blink flyer. I guess it comes with a couple of discount codes or whatever it is. I don't know. I don't really care for this either. Uh, GRA. Oh, okay. So there has to be something in here that's moissanite. Let me tell you something about these GRA certificates though. This GRA certificate is garbage. It means nothing. The company has no credibility. It's trying to mimic what GIA does, which GIA is the Gemologist Institute of America. It's a New York based company that they grade all diamonds, whether it be lab or natural diamonds or other gems for big time companies like Cartier, Tiffany, and then anybody else that needs any sort of grading on diamonds. This GRA report, I'm assuming there's something that's moissanite in here, is gonna come with some sort of serial code. See, the GIA one has a number on there and they etch that number into whatever stone that they are engraving or that they are grading, I should say. And therefore, you don't get any trickery when you go down to, say for instance, a jeweler, he can't just switch that stone out and put one of his in there, which is a very common practice with these shady ass jewelers. So the GIA will tell you the grade, it will tell you the color, it'll tell you the cut, but more importantly, it also tells you that number that's engraved on the stone itself. This is trash, just doesn't mean anything whatsoever. I have a big gripe against GRA because this is just fake. It doesn't, it's just garbage. Just get this out of here. All right, so this is the actual package itself comes in this little leather or pleather, who the hell knows if it's real or not. And it has follow at Harlem Bling, Harlem Bling .com. Okay, cool. So it is a pendant. Oh, it's an enamel pendant. Okay, cool. So it says moissanite and it's a pendant. Also, that's what the GRA is for. So to grade these little things, but of course they didn't do that. Let's, let's keep it a buck here. And this is an enamel, <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Um, Initial thoughts. Initial thoughts is. Ugh. Ugh. Brother, ugh. <laughs> this Jesus is crazy looking. Oh my God. Why is he so orange? And why, <laughs> why do his eyes look a little cockeyed? A lot of cockeyed, actually. Um. From the looks of it, it says 925. So this is gold plated 925. The finish on the back, which would be of course a mirror finish. Let me give it a nice little polish right here. Now you could tell they plated this. Um, this is a flash plating as well. So the, the, the plating itself isn't gonna last very long. That's okay. That's pretty typical of like Italian jewelry when they flash plate or they vermeil it. But a couple of things, man, like 
The overall craftsmanship of the actual setting of the stones, it's pretty good. They look like um, they got prongs on them. They're definitely set in the wax before. You could tell because the prongs aren't closed. So regularly where you would do is you would put the stone inside, you manually close in that prong. There's a different style that they do, which is where you have the actual wax before you cast it. You pop the diamonds in there and then you cast with the metal, the stones already being inside. And therefore, they're already stuck on there, but two things are bad with that. Number one, the stones could fall out very quickly. You could put it in any ultrasonic and the stones will begin to fall out. And number two, the prongs aren't closed. And so therefore, they're just kind of stuck on there but they're really easily able to come out. And you could tell because, yeah, none of these prongs are closed. It's just the stone and then the prongs are poking out. The color of this actual Jesus is completely off. It's orange. This is cold enamel, which is fine. This is what happens when you do mass production of this. This is kind of like standard Italian jewelry, which is from afar, you could tell that it, it looks okay. But when you begin to actually examine the details, like the actual details of it, you could see the casting still between his crown. On the inside of the bale, you could see the casting and it wasn't high polished. There's just little things that you can begin to look at to tell that this is mass production. This is kind of the issue you have when you purchase just things from Italy. They have thousands of employees, huge warehouses. You can't just order one piece. You have to order several pieces. So they're not going to waste their time making one specific Jesus piece. And what happens is that they mass produce them. So you get a lot of people that are rushing these pieces, just trying to get them out, but they're not exactly made for the detail. So this pendant here was, if I'm not mistaken, around three to 400 bucks, something like that. It, it looks below average, I would say. I personally would never wear this, but I have to remember who it's for, right? You're not paying thousands of dollars for a pendant. You're paying $400 for casted stone setting enamel work. You could tell that, it, yeah, it's, it's a low budget. It's, it's affordable jewelry style. I actually have a Jesus pendant that I've completed recently, and we're gonna compare the two so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Luckily, I had just finished this one up, and this is an enamel piece that we have uh, completed here at Gus Villa Jewelry. So the differences are vast. These as well are moist, by the way, but the enamel work is completely different. It is hand painted with a lot more attention to detail. The Jesus piece was created by a cat artist that focuses on portraits. This is a one of one. This Jesus face making this particular expression in these dimensions haven't been made. It was made for the customer. As you could tell, the skin tones are completely different. The, even the moissanite up top is handset, so that's where you could really tell that those prongs have been closed. The detail in which it was printed is two different things. This is more so for like photorealism, and this has an actual artist who hand paints the enamel, and then we cover it in enamel. It is insanely different, the two. Now, the price difference in this one is about 400 bucks, and the price difference in this one is about almost 15 times that. But this is a one of one piece. So this is what we would regularly do here, but it doesn't mean one of them is necessarily better than the other one. This is just more so your watered down version of what a pendant would be. So again, the the, the skin tone of Jesus looks kind of Cheeto-ish. Uh, the blood is super exaggerated and looks like it's just very, very quickly painted. The beard has absolutely no detail. Overall, this pendant is, yeah, I mean, subpar at best. I mean, really, the off-putting part is the fact that <laughs> Jesus is so orange. That's, I can't get over that. You could tell that it's 400 bucks. You could just tell. You know, maybe their company makes a bunch of other cool stuff, but this particularly, for 400 bucks, I probably wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't even recommend it. I mean, there, I would probably rather get something that's maybe a little bit smaller in solid 10 carat that's maybe even hollow, that's that has no enamel on it. I think they did, I think they did it a disservice by putting enamel on it. You know what? Maybe this for somebody out there may be worth it, maybe worth the 400 bucks. For me, not really. So yeah, overall thoughts. I mean, I thought the packaging was cool. I thought the customer service was great. It got to my house relatively early, but the product itself, 
for the money, a little bit below, all right? I can't judge any other pieces that they've done, nor do I really care to, because the honesty is, it's all made in Italy, but I still can't really give it my GBJ stamp of approval because there's nothing here that stands out. There's no artistry behind it. There's nothing really that says Gus. Like, this is dope. Overall score, I'd say give it about a 5 out of 10. Anyway, that about does it for another Gus Villa Jewelry review. If you guys have any other companies, please drop it in the comment down below. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that many, many more of these reviews, to be honest with you, just because I don't really like shitting on another company harlem bling if they are out there making a lot of money and, and and do business the right way i want to tell them or any other company that i've done for that matter that i don't want my review to be something that hinders their business because as a business owner myself i empathize with that and so it's tough it's it's a fine line between wanting to show you guys a genuine review by someone who does jewelry and then at the same time not exactly shit on the company because at the end of the day, there's a business owner that's poured their heart and soul into a business and I want them to thrive just like I would want anybody for me to thrive. So yeah, I don't know if I'll be doing any more of these reviews, but if you do have any of those companies, drop it down below. I'll take a look at their stuff. If it's not exactly a reseller, maybe I'll invest it and show you guys how it is. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a